what you guys can see is what I had to do is let my sister braid it because she braided the entire perimeter of my head all around up. She braided all up. So you see these are braided up. Show you guys the back as much as possible. The back is braided up as well. The side on the side. And my front. My front is a lot more thicker because by my edges coming out um, a couple months ago, they're growing back, but they haven't grown back like fully enough. So I told her to add some weave. I just parted my hair this way and I connected these braids with that braid. And then the same thing on this side. Then with this braid, they were already braided. I just crisscrossed it. These two braids are together with one braid. Then these two braids, I literally took this braid, Chris took, put it on this side and did a braid. That one, did a braid to the back. And in the back of my hair, you guys can see, I was just connecting them. So when I braided this one, I started on this one and then I connected that one. So you guys, I'm so sorry for the camera. Is this weave that I have. I got it in 1B. This is the... Kima Braid Senegal Rope Twist. So, yeah, I thought it was like, you know, the regular crochet, like the end part has a circle, you just put it through. Told you guys, it's my first time doing this, I don't know nothing about crochets really. But, as you guys can see, it is a rope twist, and I actually saw on YouTube, Lucky a Girl had a video on these exact braids, because I would not have known how to do my hair, I would have to take this hair back. And be like, no, y'all gotta give me an exchange for some different hair that I can actually work with. But, yeah, this is what I got. I have nine packs in total of this hair. I have, let me see, seven packs of the 1B. And I have two packs of the T1B118. Just like that, because it has like the reddish undertone to it. Hi guys, alright, this is so far how I have, this is as far as I have gotten before I decided to record it again. Um, so you guys can see, I have the color 1B black, and then I have the color T1B 118, the red, to have my accent color, you know, to have a little streak. And I'm going to show you guys how I do this front part a little bit if I could, because y'all know I can't see. Let me see. Alright. I'm just going to take my little crochet. This part right here, like starting from right here. I'm going to start adding some uh, red in it up here and then the rest is going to be black because I want my perimeter, all my perimeter is black and majority of my hair is black and then I have the reds a lot in the back of my hair and then I want some reds here and there in the front of my hair because I don't want thread too much everywhere. So let's start, I'm showing you guys how I do this edge part. Like I said, it's my, my first time, so basically I had to look on YouTube myself. I watch Beauty Can Braid, and she does a lot of crochets and braids and stuff like that. So this is her technique. Basically, she puts the crochet needle upwards through the hair. Well, I see her did different styles, actually. Sometimes she did it to the side. And then sometimes she did it this way. And then, you know, put the hair through. And then, you know, I pull it through as much as I can. And then, just like that, then I tie. Not tie, but I, you know, put the hair through the loop. And then I pull the hair like that. get it tight so I guess when I 
And this my point curl up though kind of looks like that. This is what I'm doing. I'm literally just taking the crochet needle through like that, through my actual braid. Well, some of them are through my actual braids. Most of these at the top are through my braid. And then the ones in the back, when I first started, they're like underneath the braid. So hopefully those can stay in good enough. If not, I'll just probably reinstall them through the braid. Because I think that probably works better than having it underneath. And I just do the same thing. Put the hair through the loop. Pull it together. Tighten it as much as I could. And there you go. And I'm going to do another one. Like I said, you know, it's going to be full because it's kind of how I want it. I don't want to see my braids, you know, if I put my hair up in a ponytail, then my, some of my braids are showing in some spots. I don't want to see that, you know. I want to see, like, make it the illusion like my entire head is actually, you know, really twisted up. And if there is some parts in my hair that I could take out the twist from, like you probably wouldn't notice just to make it a little less thinner than I would but afterwards if I like the fullness it really doesn't matter to me and I'm good with that it's gonna be hard to put this in a ponytail I thought it was gonna be a lot longer but actually you know I am kind of satisfied with the with the um, length of it yep fast forward time guys okay I'm finally done with my hair I was going to show more of it but that's the reason why I don't do YouTube channels I mean do videos like that as I used to do because of the fact that I have two kids now and a six month old baby you hear him crying already right well he's whining so I couldn't really film and having him trying to go back and forth because he's whining and trying to finish up my hair and all that stuff so basically this is the finished product of my hair. You see the front has like smaller twists. It just came like that in a pack. I didn't choose to get smaller twists. I don't know why that one pack was a smaller one as far as the twist goes. But I mean it worked out fine because it allowed me to put some smaller ones in the front of my head. And then the rest are, you know, full medium sized twists. So this is how my hair turned out. Yes, my very first time wearing um, these as well. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Don't be rude or mean if you got nothing to say. I said, I, when I tell people to tell me what you think, I'm not saying, oh, if you don't like it, you're like, oh, that looks so horrible. You look like a, you know, like, why you gotta be all mean? Why do you even take the time to even comment? Stuff like that. You get it? If you don't care for it, you be like, oh, you can just say, uh, oh, I tried this technique out over here. Maybe if you do like this with it, whatever, like that with a needle or something like that, yeah. maybe something will come out to it. Well, baby. You got it. Okay, I'm talking, baby, okay? <laughs> she always do it every time I do a video. So, quiet, baby. Quiet, mommy. I'm doing the video, okay? So, it's my very first time doing it, like I said. And if you got something to comment, comment nice things, whether you like the color. Tell me if you like the color. Tell me you like the twist. Tell me if you like how I actually did it. If you think there's something else I could have did, like a different technique and stuff like that, let me know that. If you don't like it and you think it just looks horrible, I don't have to hear that. I don't want to hear no negativity. If you don't like it, good. Go about somebody else's page and watch someone else's video. You get it? So, I mean, people are going to comment what they want to comment, but, you know, that's what I'm just saying. So, yeah, this is my braids. And I'm putting a little gel my sideburn. I'm my eyebrow looking cute for Christmas. My son wants to go. He's pushing for me. <laughs> And this is my baby boy. Hi, Cristiano. 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 Hi,
more videos will be coming soon on my baby and all that stuff like that. Just bear with me, people. And thank you guys for the new subscribers. And for anybody who is new. Bye. Bye. It's my daughter, Daniela. Okay.